Moment. Hey there. He's still here. Hey, Arthur. Can, can I have a quick word? Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip off. So now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. <laughs> you just said. Yeah, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. Now, no need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. This way, bunch of smart Alex. How do you get wind of this, old man? We only been down here all of five minutes. Well, while you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the roads. <laughs> I've been watching them. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Now, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. Just like clockwork. <laughs> stop the wagon! I said, stop the damn wagon! Whoa! Now, don't try anything stupid, and we won't do anything unkind. You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot. But this is a mistake. 
I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Are you gonna give me a hand here? Now, let's see what's inside. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Out of sight. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Mm. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey. Shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn! Hey, now, let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... I... I why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me what you heard. I don't... Uh, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. Better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. <clears throat> Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go round the back. Place looks empty to me. Now the old guy up there is full of crap. 
I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Bumps! Place is empty! Made a meal out of that, didn't you? Oh, just stand there, why don't you? Let an old man suffer. Make your peace. You're dead. You uh oh, clearly those boys ain't as quiet as us. Guess we should go give them a hand.
I'll deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Quan. Get out of here. Every man split up, Quan. Run quick. Good luck, Johnson. Stay quiet and move. It's all a big misunderstanding. Don't get confused about that. You you do this? Hey, you don't think I did this? I guess this needs some telling. Yep. There we go.
Catch your breath, boy. Jokes. It ain't nice, and it ain't brotherly. <laughs> I mean, I get it. <laughs> I get it. Oh, look, there's old Big Bill. Oh, look at him. Ain't he so dumb? Well, I ain't so dumb. Well, of course you ain't so dumb, Bill. You're just averagely dumb. Thank you. That means something. I got feelings inside of me, real feelings. Now, I know I'm not as smart as you or Hosea or Dutch, but I'm just as smart as Marston or Arthur or any of them. Exactly. Sort of how I see. You're fine. But it still hurts. It does. People calling you dumb. <laughs> It's like people call me lazy. I'm not lazy. I just don't like working. There's a, there's a difference. It's like you and thinking. You, you're not dumb. You just don't like thinking. <laughs> that sort of it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that sort of it. Hmm? Makes sense now. <laughs> Howdy, fellers. Hello, Arthur. So, Uncle? Don't say it. I know. I messed up. Just do more groundwork next time. All right, well, I should be getting on. Yep, yep. Okay, Arthur. Don't work too hard. I work smart. For the love of God, stop giving me that lost puppy look. So, you're speaking to me at least. Oh, uh, it is always about your needs, isn't it? I have never known a woman with so many needs. You don't know the first thing about a woman's needs. How selfish are you? Are you even aware of the price on my head? The pressures I'm under? If you'd only talk to me, I could help. I want to help you, Dutch, but there's this wall. You can help by leaving me alone so I can actually think for once. You're a bastard, Dutch Vanderlind. <laughs> <laughs> 